Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn about if else statement in Python. So in the earlier sessions we have started with Python introduction. We started with some very uh, basic commands. Then we learned about operators, Boolean expressions and today we are going to learn if else statement, decision statements, how do we use it. This is going to be very easy and very interesting and you can do hands on along with me. So for this I am going to uh, create a new file. Here I will say if else dot py and it is here. And to make this file run, I will go to my main dot py and I will import it here. This we have seen in the last session as well. How do we make the file run from main dot py? I will say import if else and I'll just comment this one and save. So here we are going to learn about if else statement in Python. Now in the last session we have learned about Boolean expressions, the expressions that result in either true or false and we are going to make use of that in the if else statement. So here if else statements are used to create programs that makes some decision. For example, let us say we give you, uh, I give you the age of a person and I want you to decide whether that person is eligible to drive or not. So there we can use if else statement and the syntax will be we say if and we give some boolean expression that will result in true or false. Let me say boolean expression and we give a colon here. So this is the syntax we say if and the expression and then a colon and then we go to the next line and there will be a tabbed space here by default there will be a space and then here we can write our whatever statements we want to write like whenever this this statement will become true it will go inside the if block and whatever we write the code here that will get executed. So this is the syntax we say if and the boolean expression then a colon then in the next line after a tabbed space or after some spaces we write our statements. So for now I will comment this out this is the syntax let me try a uh, actual program and you can do hands on along with me you will find all these notes all the codes in the description of this video and whenever you face any issues you can let me know in the comment section. So I am saying age equals let's say 18 and I want to check if the person whose age is 18 is eligible to drive or not. So if I, I will say if and I will give the boolean expression in brackets I can say if age greater than or equals 18. So this is the comparison operator I am using which we have learnt in the last session. So here I am saying if this is greater than or equals 18 I will give a colon then I will go to the next line and I will say print and I will say here eligible to drive and let us try to run this and check and let's see and yes we are getting this here eligible to drive if I say now here uh, this is true and that is why it is going inside this if statement and go, it is running this particular statement. If I have something after the if condition, if I have some statement here, I am outside if, what happens now? I will save and run again and here you can see it is going to the if statement and based on whether it is true or false it is going inside and printing this and then it is coming out and then it is running the rest of the code. So after the condition whether it is true or false whatever is the decision here it will do as per the decision which we have put here the expression that we have here it will run the if statement and then it will come out and run the rest of the code. Now here what happens if age is not greater than equals to 18 if I say age is equals to 10. If I now run this, you can see it is going here 
and because this statement becomes false this expression becomes false it is coming out of the if statement and then running the rest of the code which is printing i am outside if therefore what we need to do if the condition is false for that we use the else statement so here i can also say else colon this is the syntax we say else colon and it will always be used along with if you cannot use else directly it will always be used with if and here i will say print not eligible to drive now if i run this you can see it is printing not eligible to drive and then i am outside if okay now there is another statement called elif okay now here so here if you see we have uh, one or two choices or two options that is whether the age will be greater than equals to 18 or it will be not but what if if we have more than two options to choose from so if you have more than two options to choose from then you can use elif statement and how do we use it so i will say here uh, let's say i say num equals 10 and i will say if number is greater than 0 then i want to print number is positive now i also want to check else if so this is uh, this is pronounced as else if but we write as elif elif and we again give the condition number is less than 0 you can also put this in brackets it will be easy for no understanding and reading so else if number is less than 0 then we will print number is negative and then else so finally if any of these conditions are not true both of these conditions are false then finally it will come in the else block and then here I want to print number is 0 so you can see here it first goes in the if block if this condition is true it will print this thing if this condition is false it will come here else if block if this condition is true then it will print this even if this is false then it, finally it will come to else and print whatever we have written here so let us say number is 10 if I run this now it is printing number is positive if I say number is minus 10 and I run it now it is going in the else if block and printing number is negative and if I say number is 0 and if I run this now here it is going in the because this is false if becomes false it comes to else if else if becomes false it finally comes to else and then prints number is 0 so this is how you can use else if whenever we have more than two options to choose from now another very interesting concept in the decision statements if else is nested if else so what is nested if else one if else statement inside another okay so we have multiple if else statements nested let us see an examples and how it is used and why it is used so let's say uh, let's say I will take input from user I will say num equals input and I will say enter a number now we have learned about input statement in the earlier sessions and the result the input is taken as a string so I want to typecast it into a float so I will say float and I will change the type of whatever value is inserted or added by the user into a float value okay and then whatever value I get from the user I want to check 
if num is greater than or equals to 0 then it will go inside and then I again want to check so here I am checking that the number is either 0 or positive then inside this I am again putting a if statement and I am again checking if num is equals equals to 0 then I will print 0 and if it is not then I know it will be a positive number so I am saying else print positive so I hope you are able to understand this it goes here it goes here and if the number is greater than or equals to 0 it comes inside this if statement then it checks if the number is equals to 0 it will print this otherwise it will print number is positive and if this condition is not true at all in the starting itself the condition is not true then we know if the number is not equals or greater than 0 then it has to be a negative number therefore we will put else here now you see the location of these if else this else is for this if because you can see it is in the same location and this else is for this if block so the tabbing and spaces are important in python here i'm going to print the number is negative i'll just say negative okay so let us now try to run and check i am running this and this is asking me for a number here so I am saying the number is 10 and I will hit enter it is printing positive here I will again run this here I will say 0 and hit enter it is printing 0 here I will again run this and here I will say minus let us say uh, 30 and here it is printing negative so this nested else if is working fine now you can find out more examples uh, how this if else and nested if else and else if uh, statements help us if you want you can try to write a program to create a simple calculator you will be using all these if else conditions and boolean expressions here okay so you can try this you can also take help online and if you face any issues you can let me know I hope this was useful. I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.